What's up? Danny Heisaki here with Colin Inc. Helping people do their business better. Today, I'm going to answer a question that we've been getting asked regularly, which is Jabber Evolve 265 or Jabber Evolve 75. Now, why those two? I don't know, but let's just get right into it. So here is the Jabber Evolve 75, and then here is the Jabra Evolve 65. They both have a two-year warranty. They both support connectivity to your PC and a mobile device via Bluetooth. The newer Evolve 265 has the Microsoft Teams button. Evolve 75 does not. Now here's where it starts to get a little different. Evolve 75 comes this way only. There's only one way you can get it and that's dual ear and it's only available in USB-A. There are really only four models, right? There's only four models to choose from when it comes to the Evolve 75. When we talk about the Evolve 65, there are 32 different models. And the reason for that is because they come single ear or dual ear, USB-A or USB-C, UC or Microsoft variants. And that's why with the Evolve 265, there's a little bit more flexibility. But other than that, let me see. The other glaring difference between the Evolve 65 and the 75 is that the Evolve 75 has active noise canceling speakers. Uh, and I know we, we cover this, but it, there seems to still to be some confusion, active noise canceling. I am referring to the speakers. The Evolve 265 does not have ANC speakers. And what that means is when I'm wearing the headset, I can activate ANC and it will help drown out the background noise that I hear. NC or noise canceling only, we're referring to the microphone. Justin, our video guru, he's gonna go ahead and side by side. Here's the Evolve 75 mic test, and then here is the Evolve 265. Evolve 265 is the winner when it comes to battery life. These guys have a whopping up to 37 hours of battery life, where the Evolve 75, 18 hours. But it doesn't even matter because both of them allow you to use them with a USB cable. All right, so let's just get right into the mic test and you guys can decide. Let's just get into the test. All right, so I have the Jabra Evolve connected and of course I updated all the firmware uh, that I needed to if I had to. All right, so there we go. So you're getting anywhere from 60 to 70 decibels from this volume and from this uh, television at this proximity. Uh, but anyway, so here is the Jabra Evolve uh, 75. Um, this is what it sounds like. And I believe if I flip this up, it'll mute. All right, so it's unmuted, but then this is a quick test to show the no mic any, quality no in extreme condition to change of the Jabra up. Evolve 75. And so now we're going to move on to the Evolve 265. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we're back. So now I have the Jabra Evolve 2. 65, which is one of their newer series. Again, it does not have active noise canceling speakers. Again, here is a quick test of the Jabra Evolve 265 in an extreme Thank you for condition Thank you. Uh, to do All a side-by-side right, -side so with the Evolve 75. When it comes to the best, it always depends on your individual use case and preferences, right? There is no best headset. The use case will determine which headset is going to be best for you. Now, some of the headsets that we show on this channel, they're not always winners. The same with webcams and the same with speakerphones, but we just want to help you make a more informed decision so that you can do your business better. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks. to show the mic quality in an extreme condition of the Jabra Evolve 75. Again, here is a quick test of the Jabra Evolve 265. 